What's up? Aloha everybody, this is Cheryl here, aka Gardening with Aloha. Welcome to my channel. And today I wanted to share, um, you know the tomatoes that I covered, the nylon tomatoes, pantyhose tomatoes. Okay, so I gotta show you guys what happened. So. I should have filmed it as I was taking off the pantyhose but I wanted to show you um, if it worked or not so this is the two I uncovered and obviously one is ripe and the other one's not ready yet but this one's also ripe so the only thing I found was there was a puka or a hole through the nylon and right let me get a close-up let me zoom in you see that dot right there that that's where uh, there was a puka in the pantyhose so I don't know maybe next time I'll double it up like this one right here I just covered oh let me zoom back now it's too close but I just I used um, more pantyhose and I covered this three bunches of tomatoes here and then I got a um, and then I covered one right here also and then there's more tomatoes back there and then in there but um, I that those ones this one looked like something got it and then I'm actually gonna pick it because it's half right and then that one back there you see that black spot something got that one but it's still okay you can just cut that part off of the tomato and it's still edible but look at how beautiful this tomato is besides that spot I don't even care about that spot I'm just happy that I got a right tomato still on the tomato vine I am gonna pick this tomato two tomatoes right here actually three because I need to get that other one but when you cut the tomatoes I I leave a stem on the tomato just because if you remove the this top area it's probably gonna get rotten really quick because of exposure but look at how beautiful oh my gosh so honestly guys this I've grown tomatoes before with not that much luck like regular size tomatoes like you get from the store like these with no luck but uh I got some luck this time thank goodness and then you know uh, this one is gonna probably look at the bottom already you can tell and you guys I haven't done anything to this tomato vine other than put some fertilizer which is like uh, compost and uh, Epsom salt you can see I just sprinkled more Epsom salt and then here is two beautiful tomatoes that I'm gonna show you when it gets right then let's see sorry if I'm making you dizzy but let's go over here because this is where I'm gonna have you see this is a an, an example of you see you see what I mean as soon as they sting it up oh, this is no longer a good tomato and it wasn't even it's still small so the chickens can have it but here I have to put more pantyhose there and then I do have uh, another area that I have to show you look 
you know now that I'm looking at this one it looks like a chicken was pecking on it you see how the marks are like you know when the chickens peck and look the pantyhose move but you can see the holes this one's not quite ready yet I would say maybe a couple more days but look at all this beautiful tomatoes look all in here I am so happy I I'm gonna go ahead and cover those with pantyhose um yeah I didn't even trim this tomato vine or anything I just let it go and add of course Epsom salt and I probably watered them the when I first planted them only a few times and then the rest um, was by nature with the rain and stuff because at that time it was raining a lot but you can see the male um, mildew right here on this leaf but still even with the mildew still got some decent looking tomatoes and it's going over the fence you can see outside of the fence ah uh, i'll just let it do its thing cuz so far it's doing good to good for me and then i wanted to share with you this other plant you see this plant right here this is the one that i got the seeds from john kohler um it's some type of uh, a it's called a chocha it's some type of like cucumber anyway this plant right here was so so tiny like not kidding I planted it like that and look at how it is growing now on the fence and and then I I was watching John Kohler's video and he has a massive vine and it has lots and lots of little cucumber um, achochas on it but I gotta show you something else this kakai pumpkins is going off look at outside of the fence you can see little pumpkins forming I see one I tried to um, what do you call like fertilize not f yeah pollinate sorry guys I'm just so excited about the tomatoes I I have a hard time t talking and then here I don't know if I showed you guys the carrots but popping up spotty but there is some carrots I see you can see right there you see the top coming up I got a water these babies because the soil looks kind of dry it sometimes it the top of the soil looks really dry and then when you dig under it's really really moist sometimes don't let um, the top of the soil fool you cuz look I'm using my scissors I'm gonna go wash it after but you see what I mean you can see the color the difference it's kind of moist on the underside and then look the two roselle plants my other two that died now I got two new ones popping up with flowers coming in I'm just gonna call this video uh, pantyhose tomatoes and a little garden update but anyway I hope everybody had a an awesome day and it is so beautiful here as always some clouds going on uh, pretty soon a banana we got a harvest a banana bunch some papayas over there beautiful bok choy flowers and then pretty soon I think I can harvest the the dragon carrots look you see look 
Oh, I cannot wait because this is the, I told you guys, this was the most perfect carrot I, I've ever grown. Like the size and the shape is perfect. Anyway, guys, take care. Mahalo for, for watching. Mahalo for subscribing. And aloha for always commenting. And you guys take care. Bye.